So the first card you have your past is the moon. So yes, this is the introspective card. This is the in your mind, maybe having problems, maybe not sleeping, mental problems, all this kind of thing can be going on in this card. But I'm seeing that what was happening in this card for you at this time was um, just a quietness, just an introspection. You just had a lot on your mind or you just you just wanted to be by yourself. I'm just seeing you wanting to keep things to yourself, keep yourself to yourself. You just don't didn't want to open yourself up and have conversations with people at this time. And, you know, if someone asked you, if someone said, oh, what's wrong with you? I, I don't think you'd even be able to answer them because I'm seeing um, there was nothing actually that you could could pinpoint to and say, um, oh, that's what's wrong. This is what's wrong. Um, this is wrong with me. No, you couldn't do that. You were just inside your own head. You're just feeling really quiet. You're just keeping to yourself, just not in the mood to talk to anyone. You just didn't want to talk much. Uh, we did. You did say things to people, of course, you had to, but you you just weren't opening up. You weren't giving any more than you actually needed to. You just needed this um, time to yourself just to kind of be inside your head, that kind of thing. So yes, the next card you have you passed is the Page of Cups. So yes, I'm still seeing you wanting to be a bit quiet um, around people at this time. This was still going on at this time. I'm also seeing you having to be somewhere. You had to be somewhere where there are a lot of people and it was like you had to be around them. You could have been trying to say, um, just say the bare minimum to people. So it was like you might have been in a conversation where someone was trying to say, oh, how are you? What are you doing? What have you been doing? You just say, oh, that's fine, whatever. Or maybe you tried to steer the conversation around to them so you didn't have to talk. So it might have been like, oh, I'm fine. What about you? What about this that's happened with you? And then they start talking about themselves. So you really didn't want to get into a conversation with anyone, but you're in a situation where you kind of had to do that. You might have been with a lot of people, might have been around a group of people or something, or you could have been out at something. But yes, I'm seeing that there was a special, there was one person especially who they like talking and they like talking about themselves, which is just as well, because when people like talking about themselves, they don't ask you about yourself. So at least that was one thing. But this person's sort of like a, like a life of the party person. So you really didn't want to engage with this person, but you did get through whatever this was. And you know, you could have been maybe just on autopilot going through the motions, but you got through it and it was okay. You got, you know, you got away, you got through this. So the last card you have your past is the Queen of Wands. So I'm seeing that you knew you'd get out of this kind of quiet mood, this low mood, this introspective mood or whatever this was. You knew this would pass. You knew that you'd get your energy back again. And I'm just seeing that you do go through these phases where, you know, you have low energy and then it comes back again. And then you have this low energy and it comes back again. So these times when you have low energy, you get tired very easily. And, but then, you know, you, 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 you go through that and then your enthusiasm comes back quickly again. So you can also be a little bit of a chameleon, I can see as well. So you like to change things around and you like to kind of maybe you might change your clothes, you might change where you go, that kind of thing, just to change things up a bit. So you are a little bit changeable in that way as well. And um, yes, I'm seeing you snapping back at this time, kind of snapping yourself back into order at this time and after this quiet time. And you're getting, you are getting things in your life back to order. I'm seeing that maybe you're writing lists, maybe you're planning things, planning things out for each day. Maybe you were saying, okay, tomorrow I'll do this. And then the next day I'll cross this thing off. And the next day I'll deal with this. I'll start getting things moving again in my life. I'll start doing things again in my life. That's what I'm seeing. So you're getting back into action again. And that's what this Queen of Wands is. She's a woman of action. And you also knew you were going to snap out of this new get better because she has um, this lovely sunflower. So that's that's hopefulness, that's optimism. That's what I'm seeing in that card. So the first card you have your present is the tower, yes. Um, I'm seeing this tower is about someone else. It's about someone around you. It's not about you. So you can be relieved. This is not about you. So don't stress about this. This is about someone else. Um, this is about a very difficult person in your life and this person thinks they're above other people. Again, I'm seeing this could be a family member, but I am seeing that, yes, 
because I've I'm seeing you've known this person for a very long, long, long time. Um, I'm seeing that they've been difficult for you for a long time in your life and around other people as well. So yes, again, family I'm seeing and I'm seeing that, yes, they like to boast about themselves. They like to put um, other people down as well. And they've tried this with you as well a few times. But this person thinks they're better than other people they think about, you know, they think they're better than just about everyone else. And I'm just looking at this crown on top of this tower. So their self-appointed crown is going to fall off or it's going to be knocked off or something like that. So I shouldn't laugh. It's very sad for them. It's going to be very embarrassing for them, whatever this thing is. Um, but yes, it is funny because when people behave like that, well, so yes, this person's going to be a bit quiet for a while like you were, but even more, they might even go into hiding for a while. This is going to be quite embarrassing, uh, but that's what's going to happen to this person. So the next card you have for your present is the Ten of Pentacles. So yes, this is about this person who's losing their crown. This is a family member. Um, they're having this tower moment I'm seeing. And um, yes, what they do is they brag um, and they brag about money. That's what I'm seeing in this card. They brag about money. They brag about possessions. And it's like, you know, if you say, oh, yes, I went here. They say, oh, I went there three times. And then I went there um, on a yacht with, you know, servants and I had, you know, a Rolls Royce or stupid stuff. So every time you try to say anything or anyone tries to say anything, they've done it five times better and it was 10 times more expensive and exclusive and they were at the life and soul of the party and everyone loved them and all this crazy stuff. So it's like they make up crazy. It might not be made up. There might be some truth in that, but they like to go on and on and on about it and it drives everyone crazy. So they like to go on about their possessions. And again, I'm seeing this person making other family members feel very, very awkward around them. Just very awkward when they're around family. The family feels like, oh, no, what, they, what are they going to say now? I feel really terrible. So yes, if you look at the family on this card, they're just not communicating. They're not communicating at all properly. So the two people in the center of this card, they're just passing by one another. They're not actually communicating properly. And if you look at the old man in the corner, he's more interested in his dogs than anyone else. He's not talking to anyone. So there's this awkwardness around family and this lack of communication around family and this feeling uncomfortable around family. And why is that? Because there's all money. If you look at all the coins um, all over these people. So it's this person who brags about, brags about money, this family member, when they're around the family, that makes everyone very, very uncomfortable. So yeah, something's going to come crashing down on this person. The crown's going to fall off and they're going to be very quiet. So the family is going to be very comfortable for a while because I'm seeing this person isn't going to be around very much. That's what I'm seeing. The last card you have here present is the Six of Cups. So I'm seeing... um. Yes, what I'm seeing here is there's a connection that's actually, this might be just a feeling at this time, but I'm seeing there was a deep connection or there is a deep connection. And this is a connection that's going to go on for a long time. And it has been going on for a long time. There's a connection between you and another person. This might not be, the person might not be around you at this time. You're not going to be around this person now, um, but you are going to be around this person in your future. This is a person who you're very deeply, deeply connected with. Even when you're not with them, you can feel what they're feeling sometimes. You hear signs, you think about them. They think about you too. That's what I'm seeing. You might be wondering, does this person think about me when I... Yes, they do. Yes, they do. That's what I'm seeing. So, Sometime into the future, this person is going to come into contact with you again. This is a connection you both feel. I'm seeing that again. And, you know, things could be reminding you of them at this time. You might be getting a lot of signs. You do get signs around this person that you um, are thinking about this person, feeling about this person. They make you think about this person. That's what I'm trying to say. But at this time, they could be escalating. There might be even more signs, even more things. I don't normally say this, but I know you have a very high intuition. You do. And I think you know that this person is thinking about you or this person is about to come closer to you. That's what I'm seeing. The first card you have for your future is the Five of Pentacles. Yes. I know this card's in your future, but I think this is showing you and showing me as well that this is what happened when you lost the connection with this person. 
you lost this connection with this person in the Six of Cups a while ago and um, you felt very lost without them. They felt lost without you too, that's what I'm seeing. Um, there's a huge feeling of loss, a huge one. And obviously when you um, when you disconnected from this person, there was a great big enormous loss. And now there's still a loss, of course, but obviously it's not as bad as it was. It's not as severe as it was when you first, um, you first disconnected. So, um, Yes, I am seeing that you've always felt this loss. You've always felt this loss. And you're always going to be feeling that. You're going to, until they come back to you. So you're still going to be feeling that at this time. I am seeing hope with this card. I'm seeing hope with the Six of Cups. You know this person might come back. I'm seeing they will come back. That's what I'm seeing. Because if you look at this, um, if you look at these two people outside the stained glass window, you look at the man on the crutches. Now, you probably can't see this. There's no point in showing you because the, there's so much snow in this card that it kind of obstructs what's happening around this man's neck. He has a bell around his neck. So he has this bell around his neck because people can hear him. They can hear him coming. So they can hear him and they can if they can hear him, it means they can find him. So you will find what was lost again. I'm seeing you're coming back into contact with this person. You're going to hear them again. You're going to find them again. They're going to find you again. So this is again, this is what I was seeing reflecting in the Six of Cups. And yes, there's a strong connection. They're always going to have that strong connection with you. And I am seeing they are going to come into contact with you again. The next card you have for your future is the Five of Wands. So yes, what I'm seeing with this is running around, being busy, so crazy busy that you kind of don't know what you're doing. You might not even have time for basic things. This is about having lots of work to do, but it's also other work, other goals you have. There might be work goals, but there might be something like, um, it might be a side business. It might be something else you're doing. You might be running around doing all sorts of different things. So yes, I'm seeing that, um, this is just, you know, you're just going to be so busy at this time. Um, and this is what the Queen of Wands was predicting, that this was going to happen. You were planning for that in the Queen of Wands. And now at this time, you're getting into action. Um, I'm just seeing that. I, I mean, I'm, this isn't something I'm seeing in this card. So this isn't a prediction. But this is what happens to me. If I'm really wanting someone to come in or something to come into my life, and I've put it out to the universe, I've said, this is what I want. Then I get busy. I get busy. I get working on things. I'm so busy. I can't think about anything else. That's normally when this thing comes in or this person comes in for me. I'm just, I'm not saying that's going to happen to you, but I'm just saying this is what happens for me. So this might be what happens. They might come in at this time. Not definitely. I, this isn't something I'm seeing. This isn't something I'm hearing. I'm just telling you that that's my experience with that. So the last card you have for your future is the High Priestess. So yes, you're still going to be thinking about this person, of course, but you're not going to be desperate. You're not going to be so kind of crazy about this person. You're going to be very busy once again. Also, I'm seeing with this High Priestess, you're going to have a very strong intuition. You're going to be strong as well. She's a very strong woman, but you're going to have a lot of intuition. You're going to know. You're going to have this feeling of knowing that this person is going to come back. That's what I'm seeing. Intuitive, knowing, and not desperation, just strength and knowing that's what I'm seeing with this card. So this is looking very positive for you. 